Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day in the Word. And today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And even though we're now in our third Sunday of Ordinary Time, this is the first Sunday that we've actually been in the, the color green for Ordinary Time because we had Trinity Sunday and we had Corpus Christi Sunday. And so here we are today uh, in the 12th Sunday. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear, whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid, of, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without my father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reading, we, we're, we're caught right in the middle of an, an, of an extended uh, section of Scripture which is the commissioning of the 12 apostles for the first mission that Jesus is uh, going to send them on. This is the mission of the 12. And so bef uh, after naming the apostles, which he does at the beginning of this chapter, chapter 10, he then commissions them and he goes through some extensive uh, training with them in terms of what to do when they arrive at a village and what to take with them, what not to take. And also some very strong cautions about the persecutions that, uh, that, that are going to be uh, a part of where they are heading. Uh, he says, I'm, I'm sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves and all of these things. And then we come to the section where, uh, where we begin today. And it's really kind of leading up to the, the final statements that Jesus wants to make before he sends them out. But here, he wants to let them know of their worth. He wants to let them know how important they are to God and how important the message is that he's giving them. And, you know, first of all, he's gone through a lot of things about the coming persecution. And that's where we pick it up. And he says about all of those who are uh, coming against him and coming against those who follow after him, he says, fear no one. Or another way of looking at it is, don't be afraid of them. That is that is not what you need to be afraid of. If you want to be afraid of something, be afraid of being condemned in eternity for not following me and for not following after what I'm revealing to the world. He says, that's what's really, really at stake here. He says, don't be afraid of those who can kill the body. Rather, be afraid of those who can destroy the soul and the body. And talking about following after the world rather than following after our Lord. And the world in this case being the fallenness of human nature and all that it entails. And he tells them about what he's sharing with them. He says, what you say in the darkness, speak in the light. In other words, the things that I'm telling you are not secrets. These are to be proclaimed from the housetop. He says, what you hear, proclaim to the housetops. Tell everybody what I'm saying. Spread the news. This is important for everyone to hear. And so as they get ready to go out on the mission, he's telling them that they don't have to be at all reluctant to share anything that Jesus has said with them because all of these things are important for people to heed and to follow. And he ends up then going on even further saying, all of the hairs of your head are counted that Every one of you, everybody on earth is important. The reason why I want this message to go out to so many is that there is not one person that, that uh, should be avoiding 
this message, and there should be not one person who cannot get this message that needs to be given to everybody. Because God cares for us all. He cares so much that he even numbers the hairs of our heads. And as I sometimes say when I'm especially doing a men's conference and this verse comes up, I'll say, and for some of us, that's a lot less work for God than for others. But that's not the point. The point is he cares for us that intimately. Each individual has a part in what God is all about in his desire to save mankind. There's nobody that's unimportant. There are no little people. There are no unimportant people. So don't be afraid. And he goes on to give them the caution. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly father. And so the public declaration of being a follower of Jesus is critical to being a part of his kingdom. But if you deny before others, I will deny you before my heavenly father. Now, one of the things I want to say here, do you remember later on in the Gospels the one person that did deny Jesus before others? It was Peter himself. But Peter was forgiven. Peter reconciled to God and was reconciled at the initiative of Jesus there after his resurrection. He spent specific and personal time with Peter, bringing him back into his relationship. And so I think we have to remember that, that even though it says, whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly father. That is not a closed cause. That even if you've denied Jesus before others, you can be reconciled back to him. It's a matter of just going through confession and finding the absolution and the forgiveness that is yours as a child of God, as a follower of Jesus. Isn't it wonderful to know that even in these admonitions, that there's hope for reconciliation that can be ours. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, tomorrow we begin... Uh, another week of ordinary time. It actually be, uh, began today with the 12th Sunday, and so tomorrow will be the mon Monday of uh, the 12th week. And the Lord willing, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Day by Day in the Word. And so may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.